Welcome to this presentation about daylight photodynamic therapy for sunspots. Your skin concerns are unique to you and achieving healthy skin for life involves a plan specific to you. It is important to seek the advice of a dermatologist prior to undergoing this treatment. What are sunspots? Actinic keratoses or sunspots are precancerous lesions and may develop into skin cancers with no treatment. Sunspots are small red rough spots that develop after many years of sun exposure and in Australia skin cancers are very common with two of every three people being diagnosed with skin cancer by the age of 70. Sunspots feel like rough little patches of dry skin and sometimes they feel itchy or sore. What do we mean by field sunspots? Field sunspots is when the entire area of skin is affected by multiple sunspots rather than scattered individual spots on sun damaged skin. Field treatment is where an entire area of the skin is treated rather than individual spots. Some sunspots are visible but some may be less obvious to the human eye, i.e. microscopic, and this is called field cancerization or field actinic keratosis. A field means a region of skin, e.g. a nose or a forehead, a cheek or the full face that is managed. To manage sunspots correctly, a field treatment is usually recommended. Why treat field sunspot damage? Lesion-directed therapies do not address the true problem as a whole. When multiple sunspots are present, it is often not practical to treat each spot individually. And visible damage and non-visible damage is treated when a field treatment is performed. What are the field treatment options that are available? There are many different treatment options including freezing with liquid nitrogen, which we call cryotherapy, scraping the lesions off, which is called curatage, or using topical creams such as 5-fluorouracil or amacromod. There is laser therapy and photodynamic therapy. Each of these modalities has its risks and benefits. In general, creams are economical but are associated with significant downtime. The problem with creams is that it is patient directed and sometimes people overtreat the area which can result in secondary infection or long term scarring. What is daylight photodynamic therapy? Daylight photodynamic therapy is a field treatment option for sunspots. It allows for the treatment of a large area of skin with excellent cosmetic results and minimal downtime. Daylight photodynamic therapy involves the application of a photosensitizing cream called Metfix. Daylight is then used to activate this cream to selectively destroy abnormal cells. It does not affect normal healthy tissue. Usually two treatments are required and often yearly treatment is is recommended but this will be discussed with you if necessary. Sometimes I combine daylight photodynamic therapy with other treatment options or modalities. Studies indicate that pre-treating the skin with 5-fluorouracil for instance will improve results and sometimes I add in some laser like in this case here to manage the other the aspects then of sun treatment damage under such my textual supervision. changes and they pigmentation. They will need to check some details the result is before you commence more treatment uniform skin. and prepare the skin. They will clean your skin and sometimes lightly scrape and an initial assessment lesions. is performed by myself to exclude the presence of skin cancer. And then sunscreen may be applied and pre-treatment photographs taken. How to prepare for your treatment. Please let us know if you have a history of cold sores or have a cold sore in the week before treatment. You may require a short course of antiviral treatment. If you take medications that make you more sensitive to the sun, please notify us. If you are pregnant, do not have this treatment. If breastfeeding, we would ask that you discard the breast milk for 48 hours after treatment. In the four to six weeks before your treatment, please try and avoid as much sun as possible and any fake tanning products and try to not wear makeup on the day and men should shave their face in the morning of the procedure and have their hair trimmed short in the treated areas. Cease all active topical treatments such as retinols, tretinoin, fruit acid creams in the two days prior to treatment. During treatment, a trained nurse will be with you. And she will prepare your skin as mentioned. The special cream Metfix will then be applied. A sunblock will be applied and then you will be instructed to 
sit outside for one to two hours. The treatment will be cancelled on wet days. After a period, you'll then return to the clinic and the nurse will remove the cream. This is an example of a typical progress following the treatment. It is generally well tolerated. You may experience some small tingling during the treatment and this is a patient um, you can see immediately one week post-treatment, she has some redness in the affected areas and then one month after treatment or even one week after treatment, the skin is back to normal. Sometimes um, I combine the treatment with other lasers as mentioned. This may include pre-treatment with a specialized cream such as 5-fluorouracil to enhance results or treatment with a Fraxel laser prior to treatment to increase the absorption of Metfix. Sometimes after daylight photodynamic therapy I add in some laser to reduce redness or pigmentation. I'll advise you if this is necessary. Following treatment, avoid strenuous activities for 24 hours. The treated area will be red and possibly tender, and you may have some redness and experience some mild peeling for 7 to 10 days. Please stay indoors or cover the area with protective clothing and a hat for 48 hours following the treatment. I will provide post-treatment skincare advice and please follow this. You may use cold packs or compressors if you feel any discomfort, but do not apply ice directly to your skin. You can shower and bathe as normal, but avoid really hot water and use a gentle soap-free wash and non-perfumed, non-coloured moisturiser twice per day. Avoid touching your face with your hands unless wearing gloves. And as mentioned, you can apply an ice pack or a cold pack, but not direct ice to the skin. Avoid products that irritate the skin, such as fruit acids or tretinoins. And generally, I like to see you three to four months after treatment. If you experience any pain, crusting or blistering, or think your skin is infected, please contact the clinic immediately. Generally, a maintenance treatment is recommended every year. If you have any concerns, please contact me at this address and ask my helpful team for advice.